A warm welcome everyone, I'm glad you could join me. This time we're looking at Frank Bruno's boxing on the ZX Spectrum 48K, published by Elite Systems in 1985, and it's based on the coin-up Super Punch-Out, which came out the year before, 1984. I think it featured in the uh, Super Nintendo or the NES as Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. But this is Frank Bruno this time, I presume, for the British market. Uh, you must fight eight boxers from around the world, a Canadian crusher, flying long chop, from Japan, yes. Uh, Andre Puncherov from Russia. Uh, here comes a Canadian man. Tribal Trouble from Africa. Right, here we go. Yeah, um, so I got punch left, punch right, blocks and guard, and we got energy bars. Let's try and um, see what I can do here. Uh, other boxers to get are Frenchy, he's from France, a Ravioli Macchiosi from Italy. Yeah, they, they weren't worried about offending people back in this era in 1985. Uh, Antipodean Andy from Australia and Peter Perfect from the USA. How am I doing? Well, sort of okay as the time uh, ticks up. Yes, so Frank Bruno is bought in for the franchise and we're fighting truly fictitious boxers. There's no Mark Tyson here or Witherspoon or anyone. Uh, Frank Bruno um, was to finally become the, the world champion in 1995, um, but had to retire due to an injury to his eye caused by Mike Tyson, and you might have heard of him. Frank Bruno, he had um, 35, no, 45 fights, 40 KOs, no, I'll start again, 45 fights, 40 wins, 38 KOs, so nearly all of them, and lost five. A couple of them to Mike Tyson, but everyone was losing to Mike Tyson then. So let's just destroy this Bluto lookalike. Uh, the, the controls are a bit clunky. It's okay, but um, the crowd are a bit nonplussed. It's a little bit dull. It, KO, right, hit the bottom of the keyboard, it says, for KOs. No, it, the strength goes back up every now and again. Right, so I should be doing more blocking. As you can see, I'm just hitting the I and O buttons for maximum punches and hopes for the rest. Once you defeat the boxer, you are given a password because you have to load the next boxer opponent on tape. So it's uh, pretty long-winded. So if you've got all the codes, you can go to any boxer you want, although there might be a big gap in the gameplay. Come on, Bruno. Bruno, Bruno, as they used to chant. Uh, lyrics are available probably as a download. Come on. Now, we have to knock the guy out. If we run out of time, even if our bar's higher, we, we don't qualify. So... It's win by knockout only as we fight this Canadian guy in his dungarees. What's your favourite boxing game on the Spectrum? I think this is the first boxing game I've actually reviewed. Um, the reason why I haven't reviewed others is because boxing um, on an 8-bit system doesn't really lend itself very well to good gameplay. Right, He's down for the count. Don't get up. Okay, so we got this guy, I think. Oh, his strength's recovered a little bit there. Hey, how did he do that? He just knocked us down. That's not fair. I don't know how that happened. Right, you're going down now, fella. Oh. I probably could look up the codes for other boxers, but I can't be bothered to load them. Here we go. Come on. Come on, Frank. Take him out. Now, this character doesn't look much like Frank Bruno. It's almost as if they did the game first, then worried about who they could get as the license. Who else did... Uh, oh, let's clobber him. K.O. Who else did Frank Bruno uh, lose to? <laughs> Not many people. I think Lennox Lewis he did near the end of his career. Stay down. Oh, he's got up again. Uh, what? How is he managing to do that? Right, I put blocks up. Perhaps that happens automatically. Perhaps that's unavoidable. I don't like that bit of gameplay. Elite Systems 1985. It's one of the arcade cabinets I'd actually like to own, Super Punch-Out. Yeah, so I didn't get any further in that one, but we'll have another few goals, see if I get any better. Let's see if we can guess the, uh, guess the code, right. Um, right, you get this EVBA membership code. On the inlay, Fido, no, that isn't anyone. No, so we got to fight Canadian Crusher again in his dungarees. Maybe we need a gun. Right, okay. So it looks like we've got to knock him down about three times, and every time he gets up, he'll knock us down. So we've got to redo it every time, which is a bit unfair, but come on, Frank. Now, did you own this game? I'm only reviewing this because of a recommendation. Uh, along with this one was recommended Barry McGuigan's Boxing. We won't do that for a little bit because I don't want to review two boxing games in a row. So we'll wait a bit and that'll probably be a later bit in the year. But uh, what's your favourite boxing game then? Is it this? 
is it that you need a bit of practice before you get the most out of it? I'm, although it's good graphically, the animation is great for the ZX Spectrum, and the presentation is brilliant, I'm, I'm a little bit bored, to be fair, I have to say. But as a kid, I could imagine myself keep playing this over and over and over. This guy, a lot of it is nostalgia back in the day, and if you're a kid, you would have built up a lot of the game in your own brain, apart from what's happening on the screen as well, and maybe done your own commentary. Come on, knock this guy down. Look at his teeth. He wears an eye patch as well. If he wore two eye patches, I might have a chance of beating him. Come on, Frank. It's a pity they ain't got real life uh, boxers in this. Tribal Trouble from Africa. How does he fight? Frenchy from France. Now that name worries me a bit because Frenchy's got double meanings and I don't want to be in the ring with fighting someone called that. Stay down. Stay down, Bluto. Right, what's going to happen now? He's going to knock me clean off my feet, is he? Right, block. See, look. That should not be happening. I do not like that bit. I'm giving it marks down for that. Should that be in the actual game, that bit? Or should I be doing... I'm putting blocks up in different moves. Is there a way of avoiding that from happening? Let me know. Quite often, this is one the first or second time I've played the games when I review them, and you might have had it and played it for years, so um, let me know what I'm missing out on here. How do you avoid getting knocked clean off your feet after you go for a KO of the opponent? Tell me. Did this come out on the 16-bit systems? Let me know about that as well. There was a point in Frank Bruno's career where he thought he's never going to be world champion because he fought in the same era as Mike Tyson and a few other super heavyweights there at the time, but eventually he did it. There was, um, I think it's the first time it's only uh, happened there, um, he fought Lennox Lewis, who was the world champion then, to try and uh, get the belt. The first time it was an all a British affair, but Lennox Lewis beat him. I like Frank Bruno. All right, Harry was one of his catchphrases. Yeah, I don't know where Frank is now. I hope his eye is alright, but that's why he had to retire. Something to do with a detached retina. If he kept fighting, um, it would damage his eyesight. But hats off, if I fought Mike Tyson, I'd probably be dead within about 12 seconds. Or missing an ear or something. No ear biting in this game, I'm happy to say. Right, am I going to win a bout here? As you can see, the gameplay is quite limited. Uh, the, ri the ring's yellow. I can't really go t too much left and right, it's just block left, block right, duck, uh, punch right, punch left, and I think one blocks, that's it. Out of time, and because I didn't knock him out, I do not progress. Boo! See, there's the, there's the controls here, guard down, guard up, I, A, 1, A, punch left, Q is duck, yeah. Kempston, keyboard, or interface 2, Kempston and interface 2, are joysticks, of course. Now, when the, then the player's vulnerable, your opponent's vulnerable, you have to go for um, the bottom row of the keyboards as a super block. If you don't activate this game, it does go into demo mode, as you saw it just attempted to do there. Frank Bruno's Boxing. I'm not sure how many this sold. I don't think it was a, a, a super classic. Here he comes. Now, these are quite short, these boxes, or the ring ropes are quite high. Right, this is definitely my last go here. Definitely my last go. Graphically, big characters. I always like that. But it's always tough uh, for game designers when they do big characters. Uh, sometimes the animation slows down or it doesn't look very crisp. But they're, they're not overlapping. You can see the characters um, are separate from each other. One of the best examples I saw of big character movement is the game Saboteur and Saboteur, Saboteur 2 by Jarell Software, which I've also reviewed. Uh, if you want to have a look at that, then please do so. And um, a shout out to uh, Clive Townsend, who was the author of the original Saboteur. Uh, recently put um, a comment on the Saboteur video I'd done, directing him to his web website, because he's done a remake of Saboteur of Extra Rooms. I think that's clivetownsend.com or .co.uk, it might be .com, so check that one out if you can. I don't think this one's been redone though, Frank Bruno's Boxing, I'll be surprised. But um, as I say, Super Punch Out, if you're aware of that game, that is superior to this. But uh, it, as conversions go, it's all right, I suppose. I'm not blown away. It's sort of like, it's average. I wouldn't have been complaining if I got it back in the day. But um, yeah, bit repetitive, but a lot of fighting games are, to be honest with you, especially when I play them. There's a sort of finesse that I'm not doing, to be fair. I'm just going punch, 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 and hoping for the best. Come on, get down, fat soul. It doesn't look in the peak of his career. I mean, in real life, Frank Bruno would have killed this person. 
these punches were like well quite hard legendary he did rock Mike Tyson once and there about but then uh, Mike come back to win just fall over right you're good uppercut uppercut the blue bars quite low whenever he hits us his bar will go back up again it's like we're stealing strength from each other I like the uh, digital um, display and that timer going up that's quite clever quite good for a 48k he's down right if he gets up and knocks me straight down I'm I'm um, I'm complain to the referee right guards up I'll duck that way no I hate you I hate you Canadian crusher boo take that you I'm annoyed yes oh no he's hit back now please fall down and die well not die just get knocked out he's taking us KO ow oh. Come back with a big punch there. Got himself out of trouble. I can't take much more of this. I wonder if Barry McGuigan's boxing is more varied. I don't know. It's an interesting viewpoint though, isn't it? I guess. Get down. Beat it. The crowd are very quiet today. Very stationary. It's a fight they all wanted to see. Maybe. I'm going to run out of time here. I think it's three minutes maximum. Just fall down. He's going to be saved by the bell in a minute. Clobber! He's down! Now, he's going to get up and not be clean off my feet, is he? Eight. Eight! Oh, no! Why didn't he stay down next to two se Oh, look! I'm going to go and hit myself in a minute. I'm going to hit myself over the head with a tea tray. This is frustrating. And where did he get all that energy from? Who is this guy? You never out of time. Look, I was well on top there, and because I'm out of time, that's it. Well, well, uh, where? I hoped you liked having a look at that one. I'm a bit non plus. It's okay, but it isn't brilliant. Good graphics, sound is limited. Anyway, thanks for watching that one as always. If you've got any comments about the game or any boxing games, put them below. That is Frank Bruno's boxing on the ZX Spectrum 48K, published by Elite System in 1985. Thanks for watching that one as always. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.